do the news updates, do the sports updates. And then from there, I had to go work at Home Depot for a while so that I could pay my rent. So at that point, I had moved out of my parents' house, out on my own, and realized, uh-oh, I gotta pay the bills. And now I only have this one part-time job instead of the three part-time jobs that were all combined together and everything that I was doing. So get that done, then find out Talk America is gonna move to Las Vegas. So I did my news and sports updates, but realized I'm being laid off. It's the only time in my life I didn't know what I was gonna do with myself. I had no <coughs> clue what to do. So I'm doing a sports report one day and I'm reading the Chicago White Sack sucks, and everybody starts laughing. I started getting calls from affiliates, so I made a few friends that day at least. And someone recommended I, because uh, I started talking to people and said, I'm gonna be out of a job soon. Said, well, why don't you check on the internet? There's this site called hotjobs.com. The internet was kind of new back then, I'm cool. So <laughs> I went to hotjobs.com and I applied for a job at AE Television Networks as a network operations coordinator. I didn't really know what it was, but it said Master Control Experience A Plus. Well, I have that, so I'll give this a shot. So I drove to Connecticut three hours for an interview. We we'll remember to wear a suit this time. And he ended up hiring me for a freelance position. Does anybody know what freelance is as opposed to staff? You've done freelance work? Okay, so you know with freelance, you're not getting benefits, but you're getting paid really well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I took that job as freelance, and I was making good money, but I didn't know when my job was gonna end. So finally it came to a point where I had to take a staff job. So you take a pay cut and you take a staff job, but you're getting the benefits. So it sort of evens out, but not really when you have a lot of debt. So my first big word of advice, don't get into credit card debt. It is really, really hard to get out of it. <laughs> it takes a long time to get out of credit card debt. So A&E, great company. I have no complaints about them at all. I was there for eight years. Met my husband while working there. I worked, I took a job in the traffic department. It was a full-time staff job and it's sort of an entry-level job in the television industry but I got to meet the marketing and promotions team, which is where my husband worked, on the History Channel side. So we met at the company Christmas party, didn't have a lot to say to me, said, all right then, nice to meet you too. Walked away, I'm driving back to work with the girls after the party, because it was in Manhattan, and we worked in the Connecticut office. My husband at the time was in the New York office. So one of the girls says to me, isn't he good looking, Jim Broder? And I said, eh, it's just not my type. So we get back to the office, a couple days later, I noticed he made a mistake on something. So I emailed him, hey, can you fix this? And he writes back, what are you gonna do if I don't? Okay, I wrote back, 